हेलो जीपैट एस्ट्रेंड्स वेलकम टू जीडीसी साउथ चैनल दैट इज जीडीसी इंग्लिश क्लासेस सो हियर वी रिसेंटली स्टार्टेड जीडीसी मिनी कॉन्सेप्ट सो इन द पार्ट ऑफ जीडीसी मिनी कॉन्सेप्ट यू वी हैव ए ब्रीफ डिस्कशन ऑन द क्लिनिकल ट्रायल्स सो डू यू नो द ड्रग डेवलपमेंट एंड डिस्कवरी सो इन द पार्ट ऑफ ड्रग डेवलपमेंट एंड द डिस्कवरी फर्स्ट वी हैव टू आइडेंटिफाई any drug from the it may plant source animal source by using chemical source maybe marine source water it may be so after identification of a particular drug then we will go for the pre clinical trials so after completion of pre clinical trials yes if we, if we are satisfied then we move from pre clinical trials in the animals to the clinical trials in the human beings so here we will discuss a glimpse of the clinical trials uh, which is very very important in our competitive orientation so there are totally five different phases of clinical trials in old days only four phases are there now recently phase 0 also introduced so regarding the phase 0 it is also known as micro dosing study so you can clearly observe in the humans in this phase 0 one by 100 dose of the test substance will be given for example 100% of paracetamol so only 1% will given why that 1% given means to understand the patient response towards the drug action it may be producing good actions or it may be producing any allergic reactions or idiosyncratic reaction if the drug is doing good then slowly slowly dose increases and they observe the pharmacokinetics and pharmacodynamics of the drugs in the patient and the main aim of the phase 0 to obtain preliminary pharmacokinetic data so majorly it is used to determine the preliminary pharmacokinetic data so how absorption distribution metabolism elimination of particular drug in the body by using phase 0 and next is the phase 1 clinical trials these are also known as human pharmacology as well as same so detailed pharmacology of the drug and how much safe the drug in the patient so participants around 20 to 80 so around healthy 20 to 80 healthy volunteers will be participating in phase 1 and it is used mainly to determine the safety as well as tolerability of the new drug so how much patient showing response so how much patient showing response to the different dose of the drug so mainly how he responding to the different doses of the drug and next phase 2 so phase 2 is mainly for the therapeutic exploration so what is this therapeutic exploration means so generally yes angiotensin converting enzyme inhibitor like captopril decrease the hypertension so how it is decreasing the hypertension what is the specific mechanism so at particular what dose it is inhibiting like therapeutic exploration we will explore into the by increasing the healthy volunteers number so especially to exploration of therapeutic sorry to explore therapeutic range especially in the form of dose range even you perform dose response curve in our pharmacology lab like using 0.1 0.2 0.4 0.8 1.6 so you can observe the response at the different dose so participants will be 100 to 50 volunteers and to determine the therapeutic efficacy as well as dose ranging efficacy pharmacological action biological action at the different doses we are determining next is the phase 3 clinical trials so phase 3 clinical trial is known for determination of therapeutic confirmation as well as comparison yes this drug is showing this action yes this drug is showing its action better at particular dose and also comparison so comparing this one with the and the drug like comparing primary standard along with secondary standard so primary standard always will be there so compare to primary standard how this secondary standard nothing but test drug showing its response and the volunteers here are 500 to 3000 volunteers next to establish the value of drug in relation to existing therapy and confirm safety and tolerability in large patient population so tolerability in large patient population so what is tolerance generally if a drug particularly using in the same patient for long time definitely response will be decreases that is tolerance and new drug application submitted to fda so after therapeutic confirmation and comparing with some other drugs like primary standards 
so if everything is okay yes if we satisfied then we will go for new drug application that is submitted to the sorry that is submitted to the fda food and drug administration okay and regarding phase 4 regarding phase 4 clinical trials it is known as post marketing surveillance so here the patients definitely will be the healthy volunteers 3000 it is mainly to determine rare and long term adverse effects so regarding the clinical trials they will mainly ask on what by so what you know by using phase 1 yes phase 1 will determine this and how many volunteers so like that they will mainly ask the questions in the competitive examinations so here it is post marketing once the phase 3 completed so regarding the drug discovery around clinical trials completed so after completion of phase 3 means okay drug is suitable for the human use we will send to the market so after send to the market also uh, nearly 2 years so after drug is sent to the market into the population for use and after that also nearly 2 years at the interval of 6 months so 4 times so in the 2 years 4 times means 6 after 6 months after 6 months we will take the data nothing but particular organization will take the data so what is the response of the drug in population so in how much percentage of population drug showing good action and what are the side effects of the drug so how much the drug is success in the market so all the data will absorb in the post marketing surveillance post marketing surveillance and especially here also for example minoxidil minoxidil is generally designed as an anti hypertensive drug but after entering to the market in the post marketing surveillance what we observed minoxidil is also used for treatment of baldness in the males baldness in the males okay especially minoxidil increases the hair growth that is hirsutism and minoxidil 1% used as a drops in the treatment of baldness for the male and the conclusion phase 1 is mainly for the identification of human pharmacology and safety phase 2 mainly for the therapeutic exploration as well as dose ranging phase 3 mainly for the therapeutic confirmation as well as comparison phase 4 post marketing surveillance or studies or trials and phase 0 is the micro dosing studies okay so this is a glimpse of clinical trials sir, in easy way so for like this more interesting videos and concepts as well as basics so subscribe to GDC South channel and GDC South English classes recently started GPAD 24 quick revision. Okay, if you are interested, you can come forward and the course is free and you can contact me on 799-531-8103. All the best.